morning, Judy. Thirsty Thursday. Thirsty yes. Thursday. Are we thirsty? Yeah, I don't know. Oh my goodness. Like it. Yeah. Were you busy yesterday at work? Yeah. Busy enough. I mean, for a Wednesday. Yeah. <coughs> oh my goodness. What are they doing over there for the road? I'm not really sure. I think it might be sewer. Sewer. Oh. Ooh. Yuck. Oh my god. Here we are. Off to work. Tuesday, Tuesday. Yes. Hopefully we're not as busy today as we were yesterday. Oh, yeah, crazy. It was insane. I almost started crying when you left. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it was insane. We just had so many kids and like people, like they were screaming. And then I, I was like crying. <laughs> it was bad. Well, it was really just the one that sent everybody else off. Right. But unfortunately it was the one that I was holding. Yes, he was not a happy camper. Did she have a come? She did right away. What'd she say? Because I called the front desk and yeah, I'm you're like, doing that one. I was oh, doing yeah. That. And they were so nice. That girl who works the front desk with the colored hair, I don't know her name, but she is so sweet. And she was the one, I think, who went to go get her. Um, but yeah, it was fine after that. After that, like a big clump of kids left. So that was good. And then we just slowly kind of dwindled down. But it was like, oh, my God. It was a morning. And my blood sugar drip dipped. And I was panicking. I brought mangoes today and cucumber. <laughs> so that will not happen. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Do you have the question? Oh. Let's do the I questions. Know. I don't know. We I think we left off. How did oh, you shit. guys meet? Yeah, we we did that one. This is a tricky intersection here. Tricky trickster. Oh my god. Do you have any plans for the weekend, Judy? Rototilling my garden. Oh, fun. Oh yeah, now I looked. It's supposed to rain Saturday. Oh, you're, I thought it was supposed to be really nice. Oh, oh nice. <gasps> Look at his lawn. That's, I don't know how you say his. his one, hers. that's a woman. And two, well, that's probably not her lawn. She was probably walking. No, I didn't see somebody standing there. I just. <laughs> Stop it. Okay, question. What kind of music do you enjoy to listen to? Oh. Anything. Anything. I... Except the hard, hard, hard. Yeah, I don't like hard rock. Well, I don't like country. I don't like, really like the rapping. I like the I don't like country. I like I like late seventies, early eighties, Prince, Madonna, Rod Stewart. There's a little um, bit of all of it. Yeah, all that kind of I like the oldie stuff like that. What about you, Annabelle? Everything. You like all of that? Yeah, I just never understand the rapping. Well, they some go, of them suck. Yeah, yeah, they go so fast, I can't, I can't understand it. <laughs> what kind of cat is Rocky? <laughs> I cat. loved that question. Whoever answered that question, we are not laughing at you. We are laughing with you, so start laughing. <laughs> because Rocky is a dog. He does resemble a cat sometimes. I. Oh, shit. That person, I didn't see them. It was glaring. Oh my god. He's a Shih Tzu. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> Mini. <laughs> Since you and Judy both had and worked with kids for a while, when do you think the oh. switch began with kids not respecting their elders? Like, what generation of parents stopped them? This is the it? good question. It really is, because that shit drives yeah. me nuts to see how these crazy-ass kids 
act nowadays. Yeah. They're crazy. All of them. <laughs> I don't get well, it. I have to watch what I say, but well, I will say I this. I saw the change when parents started soft parenting and gave their kids too many options. So in my book, kids brains are are too small to try to figure out choices. They need somebody to choose things for them. So like for <laughs> instance, <laughs> I feel like that's right of your control, bro. Yeah, that's, that's very, that's very controlled. Well, I feel like they need No, to have, it they is, though. Have, they need to have options. They just need more discipline. But, but they discipline. Need stricter. You can't give them 20 options. They can have two. Well, three. not only that, but I feel like, um, you know... Like, like a parent will say, okay, you know, you let's go to the park or something like that. And the kid starts screaming, crying, saying, no, I don't want to go to the park. I want to do this. And the parents are like, well, you're not going to get a lollipop if you act that way. And then all of a sudden, you know, the tantrum is over and the parent hands them the lollipop. Like... You're rewarding bad behavior. You reward bad behavior. Well, I think you just got lucky too because your kids were just not that bad. Oh, no, they oh, weren't that bad. Mine were. They weren't that bad. <laughs> they weren't. They were great. They weren't. And not only well, that, think, you have to put the fear in them a little bit. Well, no, no, there's no I mean, I feel like. birds. No Don't hit it. You can't. It's oh. an endangered species. Oh, he's waiting up there too. But also, I They're think sorry, what, no no longer means no. Right. Right. Say no, and then you let them do it. And then you and then still. You let them do whatever the hell they want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Have a great day. Bye. Do you want me to read another question? No, we're going to elaborate on this because I feel like there's more to be said. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, there's a birdie. Oh, my God. Right there. Right there. Oh, shit. In the fucking bushes today. <laughs> you better run. <laughs> Oh, you're the coffee. other day. I went across the street to get some noodles, uh -huh. and one of them almost it swooped at me, <laughs> and I had to run. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm scared to even be in the car when it's going on. Whoosh. Yeah, I don't see it anymore. Oh my god. Anyway, um, yeah. So there has there has been a significant change with that. With I also think that all these electronics has something to do with it. I agree. Because they don't parents they have no creativity. They don't their little minds are not functioning properly. They can't they also can't I noticed that like there was a shift um with little ones where we had probably I would say seventy five percent to eighty percent of our kids back in the day used to be able to do imaginary play and they used to be um, fine like coming up with things on their own to play like um, they could play with themselves you know what I mean like they yeah. didn't need to be yeah. entertained themselves. and nowadays I feel like kids that they just it's gone it's just gone like I would say 25% of our kids couldn't do that and 75% need some sort of stimulation. And I do think that COVID had an effect on a lot of these littles. Right. Because they were right. sheltered for so long. Right. They couldn't interact with others. But, yeah, I feel like it ha it did happen with the soft parenting for, for some odd reason. And I don't know exactly when it happened. I don't know if it happened before COVID. I don't Obviously, this is in every situation. It's just... Yeah, overall, but the general. overall. But like when you see a two-year-old hitting their parent in the face because they're pissed off about something and the parent literally not doing anything about it, I can tell you right now that if my child at any age, well, I shouldn't say baby, but like better enough, you know, to know better, my child would have gotten a big arm squeeze and a timeout, and I can guarantee that that would have never happened again, ever. And parents just are not like that nowadays. Parents are like, 
oh poor Susie she's having a moment let's let her have her moment let's have you you know get your anger out I don't know it's just crazy to me like the disrespect I guess it is just is so different it is different it is very different and I guess it's hard to say too because we don't know if we are the parent now of what we would be doing Oh, I know what I'd be doing. Well, you say that, but you don't know if, if this world, your views might be different if you were the young one. Yeah, I don't know. I guess. I mean, it's just, it's sad. It's know. sad, the disrespect. And then yeah, the, disrespect the and then the entitlement that those kids are going to carry into the teenage years and adult years. I'm scared. Because yeah. if they can treat their parent like that. They're going to go out into the public and they're going to get ripped. Thinking that they can treat everyone like that. Like, that's crazy to me. Because I know for a fact that our kids, it wouldn't even be in their mind to act the way that some of these kids do nowadays. Like, our kids wouldn't even... Like, it, it, they wouldn't even think it because it wouldn't cross their mind because it's just so inconceivable because they know that Mother Judy's going to get them and Mother Angela's going to get that soap out. I mean, we had all the things that we did, but Never. I think one time I had to do it and it, I can't remember which one it was with the soap one time and one time was all it took and it was just a dab of dawn. Oh, growing up, I didn't even, I never got all it. You would go and get that leather strap. Oh yeah. My dad had, uh. I never got it, but that, they just got out, went walking to the cupboard and man, and you your knew. behavior changed like nobody's business. Yeah. You knew not promoting violence, no. but like I said, a tiny bit of fear you know, authority, like you, you need to have some sort of something. I don't know. I don't know what the answer is either. Yeah. And if you're not gonna do, you know, physical violence, which I'm not promoting physical violence, but if that's something that you can't bring yourself to do or won't do, then, you know, you can always take stuff away, but then stick to it. I think I did more of that than anything like... Me too. Like that, their favorite toy, okay, act like that. Then yeah, um, forget it. It's over. They wouldn't... If I, and if I said for a day, mm -hmm. it was a day. Mm -hmm. I said for a week, you know. Yeah. And didn't take too many times when they didn't... Right, right. Or like going to the park. Like you really can't go to the park or I mean, something. I didn't... Mm -mm. It wasn't. It wasn't many times. Because like I said, I think it was just like a one-time deal. Like one time, and then they knew after that one time that it was never going to happen again. But I feel bad for some of these parents because society has done that to them too. Mm -hmm. You know, it was taken away. You know, right? A lot of their. I don't know. Well, you just be the best parent you can and teach respect. Right. Yeah. But yeah, that it's a hard question because mm -hmm. I can't Cause like I not, said, I don't know when it. Yeah, I can't pinpoint when it happened, but there was a definite big shift. And I I'm almost positive, though, that it was when that stupid gentle parenting came about. And giving kids too many choices. Because like I said, little brains can't focus like that they they want somebody to be in charge you know what I mean Judy yeah I don't know god damn now I'm getting pissed <laughs> mm. <sighs> anyway Anyway, it's Thursday. Mm -hmm. Pray for me tomorrow, you guys. I'm taking my mom to get a procedure done on her eye. 
at 5.45 in the morning or something like that. I don't know. I have to call her again today and figure out the times. I just, I don't know. It's going to cut it super close with taking Annabelle to work. Well, but like I said, if, if worse comes to worse, I'm going to have to leave and then come back. That seems like a lot. I mean, it really does. But I told her I'd do it. Well, yeah, I mean, I know you have to do it. I'm just saying that just seems like a lot. Right. It's like a bad time. Right. I mean, it would be better if it was like 7 o'clock because then I'd be able to drop her off, go back home, get Annabelle, you know, and then it wouldn't be you like too like rushed. Eight o'clock where you could have dropped Annabelle off and then just And then on. gone, yeah. But. Oh, shit. Is my hair lumpy right here? It's a lumpy bumpy. Okay, guys, well, so we will go. Have a great day. Yes, yeah, see you all later. And enjoy your weekend because I don't, we don't work here tomorrow. Yeah, thank God. Thank you. You need to figure out our God. nails. So mine are getting... Oh, I know, mine too. We'll go sometime this weekend, maybe. Or are you booked this weekend? Well, they're not open on Sundays, right? I don't know. I mean, if it's going to rain on Saturday, we could go on Saturday. Could go Saturday morning and then go to Costco. Oh, God. I don't know what I need at Costco. I do need things at Costco. I just can't think. I need spinach. I need salmon. I don't need, like, a lot of... Oh, I need the vitamin water. Oh my God, I got to make a list. Okay, bye everyone.